Winemakers Night. This evening we are with Antukura, one of the most important winers we have in Valle de Uco. So welcome Mariela, the commercial manager, manager and uh, Gabriel, it's uh, Antukura's winemaker. Uh, Mariela, what is the what is, what is that that you like the most about the project Antukura? Well, it's a difficult question because I like the, the whole project. Uh, the thing that uh, attracts me the most was uh, the passion that uh, people uh, put in the in the in the winemaking, and not only in the winemaking but in every single detail, mm -hmm. and from the the the, 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 the people that works at, in the in the vineyard to the people that works in the in the commercial in the marketing or or different parts of the of the project. They're all, all of them are very uh, involved with mm -hmm. the project and, and they're passionate, very, sorry, very passionate. Mm -hmm. and that's what's, what makes me, what, uh, I don't know, uh, what's made me feel more comfortable with the project and what, what caught my attention the first time that I heard about how uh, to see the project. Perfect. And Gabi, uh, when you are making wine for Antukura, what are you trying to? What is the style of one that you are trying to accomplish? What is what is the? What are something that you say? Okay, in this kind of wines, I need to have this. What is that? Well, first place, the Antukura wines look for the quality and the exclusivity. It's very elegant wines, very sophisticated wines. And when we when I work with these wines, I always try to look for the expression of the terroir. Uh, and um, and the compositions of the the climate and the terroir and and everything that is uh, related to the expression of the wine mm -hmm. and the complexity is very important because well this kind of wine look for that so well uh, in a few words I think the quality and really the, the terroir is what we want to express in these wines perfect. Now, uh, Marila, you've been with the company since you started, uh, since it started, and tell me about um, the commercial aspect because it's very challenging. You don't have Malbec as the star of the winery. You have Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon as blends, and uh, so it's more difficult, or not? Yeah, we are focused in reds and mm -hmm. blends. We like to do blends because in that way you can combine in a better way the best uh, characteristics of each variety into very expressive wines. We like to do very expressive wine from the from Mr. Flores de Roer. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the, at the, it was a, just because of casuality at the beginning, because we, we the first varieties that we planted were Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, which were brought from Pongenol, France. Uh, that was in 2000. In 2000. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2003, we, we made the first uh, production, yeah. first elaboration of Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, uh, we like very much the wines and also the consumer uh, because it, they, they, they were a typical um, Bordeaux blends but with uh, an Argentinian style. Yeah, with a base of Malbec maybe. So in this case, we, we changed completely. Yeah, we, we, we started making typical Bordeaux blend with Argentinian style and we had, we, uh, we had, a, we had a good re reception from the consumers. Why? Because mm -hmm. they found it as a, as a very good uh, uh, option of a different wine, of a, uh, something different with a very good Argentinian wine with uh, doesn't have uh, any Malbec on it. Exactly. I think that if I have to talk about wine with wines with personality, I think that Antigua have been very successful of having a, uh, having that. It's not easy because when you have I don't know thousands and thousands yeah. of brands in the market, mm -hmm. sometimes to give that personality to your to your wine and say, okay, if I'm having a glass of wine, this is Antigua. It's really amazing. Okay, so. You need to choose just one wine. What is your favorite or the, I mean, what is the wine that you enjoy the most making in the winery? Well, of course, Antukura. Antukura. For you, yeah. it's the number yeah. one yeah, beyond it's the, the... pure wine. expression. It's okay. a pure expression, yeah. Good. Antukura and for you? I like to drink wine. Okay. I, I, yeah, and I, uh, I, I don't have any favorite wine. I just have wines for each occasion. 
Correct. I have favorite wines for each occasion, and I have one occasion for each of our wines. So I, uh, I like all of them. Okay. The, all of them are my favorites for different, uh, different occasions. occasions. Okay. So we have it. We had tonight. We have it. We had a Pinot Noir. Yeah. We have a Barandica that is a blend. We have Carbucura and Antucura that are also blends. As we said, they are. Um, they, they love blends and like the complexity they give, so uh, it was a very interesting evening. So, thank you, y salud, cheers. Cheers. cheers! Thank you. Muchas gracias, thank you for joining the Vines of Mendoza with One Neighbor's Life.